Welcome to this look at an updated, new-ish mod map on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. This is Meadow Valley, or th at least this is the updated version of Meadow Valley. This is by Yannick, 94.37 megabytes to download on console. I'm on PlayStation, well, PlayStation 5, but it's obviously the same game, it's just on PlayStation 5. I'm playing on normal economy, as I always do for my map tours, and I'm on new farmer mode. The update, I'm not quite sure why I didn't do a map tour on this when it first came out. I honestly cannot for life me remember why I didn't. There was a reason, but I didn't. So I'm doing it now. Um, so the change log for this, I'm going to put up on the screen now. And it does say that um, new save game. So I'm assuming that means you're going to need a new save game. Hole removed between terrain and texture of the castle. New and improved field dimensions. Field 1 and Field 7 are now two separate farmlands. New number of farmlands. So you've got 15 plots in total with seven fields. Field 7 is no longer owned by the start half. So the farm you start with, you don't start with Field 7. We'll see that in a minute. Field 7 is now outlined by fences and bushes. Added animated objects. New backdrop in the north. Added a season snow mask. Changes to the mod description, added some decoration to the castle and mill, added some traffic signs, BGA silo downsized, and PDA map. That's what's been done as part of the update. So I'm looking at an updated version of this. It depends when you've downloaded it, if you've downloaded it. So I'm facing east at the moment. If we open up our menu, that's the map. Now it is down in one corner. It's, it's small. It's seven fields. Like I say, 15 plots in total but seven fields. If you look on the website mod hub, to the right, it does show a, a key, but obviously there's not a key on this version of it um, on PlayStation. Now, what do we start with? Well, on New Farmer, we start with field one and two and the plot around it, including a farmhouse and a silo. And I think what it was talking about before was you started with both of these and field seven was joined in with field one as a, as a plot you bought that's been separated, so you can buy the separate. We also start with this plot up here, which has got a cow pasture on it as well. We're going to have a look at all those and the pastures and things in a moment. It's not going to take very long to get round here, because cell points available. We've got the barn cell point, we've got mill, sawmill and spinnery. Although, I'm going to go back to here and check. Oh, the barn's there. I missed that completely. I had a quick scout around. And missed it so we're gonna head down the hill this little track that runs down now this is a tiny map and it's a kind of condensed kind of mini version between kind of Erlengrat and Felsbrunn that's the kind of feel I'm getting the kind of vibe I'm getting from it probably great for a starter farm if you've got um, kids that want to start playing your children want to get into it a big map can often seem a bit overwhelming with a lot to do and a lot of fields. This is, this would be a great map. I mean, for anyone to start on, but I just think, I'm just thinking of my own kids when they were little. You know, it would have been a bit much on a, on a huge farm and loads of fields with loads of stuff going on. This is very simple and easy to kind of get your head around. So we have the farmhouse just here. When we go inside, if you were tired, you could sleep. Let's come back out again. That's facing north, we've got a big bridge that runs across, and the, the backdrop that kind of goes all the way around is pretty much rocky outcrop all the way around. You can see from side to side, that's one side of the map, that's the other side of the map, just over there. We do have a silo, we do have some machinery, which we're going to have a look at too. Now this is saying it's a mod, but I'm getting that quite a lot. I think it's a standard in-game one, from what I can tell it's a standard in-game one. And the rest of our machinery, well some of our machinery is here, and we do have some grasswork machinery up the top at the cow farm which is just over there. Harvester is ready to go on the other field we own here, field two. No, yeah, field two. Field one's further over. Field one is just the other side of the river, over there. Uh, so as far as what do we start with? Well, on New Farmer, this surprised me as well though, we've used 507 out of 1,299 slots. So when we actually look into our garage, we start with a massive Ferguson 5613, a John Deere 6250R, the TX32 uh, New Holland Harvester, a Fortrit trailer, header for the harvester. We've got a plow, a cedar, a fertilizer and herbicide sprayer, front mower, loading wagon. I, mean, I suppose you do start with pretty much everything to get yourself going with what you've got already. Um, front loader and bucket, header trailer. We do have a weight, the large cow pasture, 
grain silo, easy shed and farmhouse. That's everything you start with. So at 507 slots. Now, if you sell all of that, you can get that slot, get, slot count down to 330. So you can get the slot count right down. If you come on farm manager or start from scratch, it's 499, not 507. You don't have the shed, the farmhouse or the silo, but you do still have the large cow pasture and you do still have all the machinery. So like I say, if you do want to get rid of all of it, you can get that right the way down to 330. Um, scrolling across, yeah, mods. There are no mods that sometimes the map makers will put mods in themselves of machinery, of vehicles. This has no modded equipment. Like I say, weirdly, the silo is saying, large grain silo, is saying that's a mod. But as far as I can tell, that's identical to the large grain silo we start with in game anyway. So I'm wondering if that's one of those odd little sort of glitch things we have every now and again. But anyway, so that's your starting equipment. That's the slot counts. It's not too high. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. What we're going to do is grab the John Deere because the new, uh, the Massey Ferguson is over at the cow farm. We're going to head north first of all and kind of do a loop around and take in the cell points. The sound effects are nice to a degree, which you'll find in just a moment. Right, that one is loud and it extends quite a long way. But anyway, there's a gate there and the new the newly uh, as part of the update fenced in field seven, which is just here. Quite a narrow gateway into field seven, so you're not gonna get big machinery in here. This is another one that probably the new Alpine farming DLC stuff would work really well. That is driving me mad. <laughs> Now it's kind of a river, it stops a little way further ahead, but I think it just as well, it gives um, a, a bit of all different sorts of terrain. We've got a bit of a kind of lake type river, there's bridges, we've got hills, we've got rocky bits. As far as I'm aware on console, this is the first map we've had from Yannick. Yeah, sorry, Yannick, did I just say Yannick? Yannick 24. We have got some signposts as it says. The sides of the valley are pretty steep. And they are meadows, so Meadow Valley fits really nicely. Field 5 is just up there. Contracts are available. We'll get to the biogas plant from the other side. I think we can get to it from the other side. Oh no, hang on, it's this side, isn't it? Sorry. Uh, biogas plant is purchasable. And it will cost, I think it's 107... What did I say? It was 170,000. I checked it, it's 170 grand. I oh, know we can get to it, it's from behind the store. We'll get around to that in a minute. So we've got one silo just there. We've got our cell point that goes into the digesters and fermenters just there. And our digestate tank is just over this side here. We're going to go back across the bridge. I could have actually finished there. I wasn't sure if I could get to it from the other side or not. As you can tell, the hedges are very low. There are no collisions on them. I think it's just to give you a little bit of a boundary. Plenty of grass all around, so if you want to do grass work, you absolutely can. We'll cross the bridge over towards the castle, which has also been changed. If we look across to the bridge over there where the waterfall is also animated, but it's not going to happen at that bird. And, you know, not going to happen is it there's a train that goes across that bridge it's really nice as well if we see it in a minute we'll have another look back but so you can see from one end to the other side to side i wonder if it is going to get another update and potentially some of those sound effects might get reduced a little bit they might not but you never know we can go and check out the castle if you want to do a bit of sightseeing Going to be a tourist, you absolutely can. I'm assuming you're having a bit of work done, having an extension built in the castle. Um, but we can go around and have a look. I was hoping that train was going to go past. Maybe when we come back later on, it might do. So, castle's here. And the first of, uh, well, other than the biogas, the first of our cell points, the main cell point, the mill cell point, is just here. So, if we go back onto our main map, like so. 
we have gone up here over to field five and just checked out the top of the biogas plant come across the bridge and the mill cell point is there the mill cell point is the second one down and takes pretty much everything that's your main cell point on the map as i've said before though if you want a bit of competition there are quite a few um cell point mods available in various different guises whether it's self-marketing or stalls or actual cell points triggers there's all sorts but that's the mill there's a little track that runs down here fairly steep again it's through the trees and we're going to come up the other side we're now heading down the eastern side of the map out towards the spinnery which is at the southeastern end of the map which we'll be at very quickly Now, as I also always say with any map tour I do, it's not going to be for everyone. Uh, a few people have asked me, am I going to do a review on it? Someone messaged me saying, no, now it's had an update, are you going to look at it? And I, I had kind of intended to, like I say, I honestly can't remember why I didn't. Here's our spinnery cell point, just up on the hillside, which overlooks the valley. I bet I've just missed that train, haven't I? I think I just saw it disappear into the, the tunnel on the far side, into the rocks. So there's our spinnery, heading down now from east to west so we're on the southern part of the map field six is just there field three is there nice sweeping landscape apart from the, the actual valley sides which are very steep the actual valley bottom the meadow section nice and sweeping it's a nice little map it's you know like I say I just I think it's, oh there you go there's a pipe kind of culvert conduit there so I, I just thought it kind of came to an end but that's nice like that up the hill and we'll come up to the cow pasture the cow pasture is a standard in-game cow pasture I think is it 200 that holds I can never remember it. we've looked at it a couple of times already haven't we that's just at the top of the hill now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to show you in just a second a clip I took a little while ago field four just to our right and the rest of our machinery is up here, so our uh, massive Ferguson and our loading wagon grass work stuff and water trailer is just up here. Now, if you do decide you're going to sell everything and you sell your farmhouse and you sell this cow pasture, the question is asked often, um, is it still possible to place things back on the map again? So I thought I'd have a quick try of that just to see. Um, so I'm going to cut to that now. So as you've seen, what's probably going to be the hardest thing is over where the farmhouse is now, but was, if you get rid of it, is there's a lot of trees. So you can place stuff there, but you might need to remove a load of the trees if you want to put something bigger down because of the object collisions. The other thing I haven't actually checked yet, and I often forget to look at, is let's go into this menu, this menu, and landscaping. Because we do own this plot of land. Let's zoom in a little bit and let's see what textures we've got available. Actually, I might want to zoom out a little bit. Okay. It's more interesting the grass. Oh, that's a worry. The grass texture isn't a growing one, it's a flat texture. The rest of them, I think, are pretty standard textures across the board yeah then we're back to what we started with yeah so the grass texture isn't a growing one it's a flat one which i know for a lot of people that's an, an automatic you know people don't like that so much because especially if you do take the cow barn off from up here on the hillside and place something else and you want to do a bit of landscaping around it and put some grass back in that then involves you having to actually plow and plant grass rather than just landscaping grass in so that could be an issue for some people but anyway that's the cow barn cow pasture building as we come across here now we've got the sawmill that we're coming up on wood chip cell point just there lumber cell point just here 
we have got the livestock market just here and we get our barn sell point just over here so your bales one is just there between those hazard marked bits i think it's that way around hang on let me just double check l3 oh no that's the livestock market oh that confused me that's gonna be the barn sell point then oh i'm glad i checked that as well sorry apologies for that that was an assumption on my part when i drove part past um so that is your barn sell point glad i checked and that's your livestock market so if you want to buy, sell, load or unload, I mean, that's be honest, you haven't got to go far with your animals, have you? You can walk them over there. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? If you could actually, in the next iteration of the game, if you could actually shepherd animals on the roads and that kind of stuff, that'd be amazing. Anyway, which brings us on to the store, which is just here. A fairly standard store point for buying of machinery, for repair, maintenance, selling, etc. That's all done here at this point. The reset point for the map is also here, so if something gets stuck or whatever, or if you just want to reset something, it resets it back here to the main store. Let me just turn that off. And then just across here, we have got the fuel station, petrol station, and then we're back round again to the biogas plant, which is just through there. And that's the map. Like I said, it's not big, there's, you know, you can get round it fairly quickly. bad at all and whilst it is and I keep saying simple and small and I don't mean that in a negative way there's a bit of forestry you can do that there's a little bit of everything it's a little microcosm of like I say it feels like a mini Erlengrat a mini Felsbrunn it has that definite feel about it probably because of the color palette used the textures and you know that it's using standard in-game stuff and that kind of thing but that's no bad thing so there we go that's Meadow Valley by Yannick24. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.